Hi, thanks for tuning in to DCTV News. I'm Ayana Williams, and we're here at San Joaquin Delta College getting ready for the, for the Women's History event uh, hosted by San Joaquin Delta College, where Ms. Carmen Perez, a social activist, is going to be speaking for the students. Hi, so um, tell me a little bit about uh, what you have done in your career. Um, so I initially started when I was 17 years old. Mm -hmm. And um, I started really after my sister was taken, she was killed, um, and I felt like her death really allowed me to kind of see my purpose in life. And so ever since then, I've been really dedicated to working with young people who are either incarcerated or are impacted negatively by systems of oppression. Um, and so my goal um, with the work that I do is to create pipelines and pathways of leadership for young people to get involved either in activism, community organizing, civic engagement. Um, and so I'm really happy to be here to talk about my story. I grew up um, about 45 minutes, uh, what, north? west of Los Angeles um, in a small farm working town very similar to Stockton. Um, and so to be able to be part of that community and witness injustice and then take that to a different scale to really fight against injustice is really important to me. So I'm happy that I'm here, um, excited that the Women's History uh, Committee invited me to speak and to be here at Delta College and share my story with so many people um, that I think have uh, have the ability to relate to my story as well. Awesome. And what kinds of things could you tell me you have contributed to uh, women's activism? So um, when I was in Santa Cruz, um, I had worked with young people that were incarcerated, and so I was helping young people transform their lives. And then as I got deeper into the community, I started working for the Latino Affairs Commission. I was one of the chairs and really looking at the value of life for Latinos. Um, and I was a basketball coach, and so really creating alternatives to incarceration, but also an evening center where girls that were part of the probation department and girls who were on my basketball team can actually just be girls running girl circle, talking about body image, talking about violence prevention and, and dating violence and things like that. Things that really resonate with young girls. Um, I ended up going off to work for my now boss and mentor, Harry Belafonte. I ended up going to New York and building what's called Justice League NYC, where I was really able to come together with my peers um, to build a rapid response arm to the work that we do. Um, and so working on police accountability, um, making sure that women were also part of the conversation, being in coalition with other people. And so um, the work that I do is always grounded not only in racial justice, but also gender justice, making sure that women are part of the conversation, that women are on panels. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I'm really known for right now is for being one of the national coaches of the Women's March on Washington. And so I was a person that um, not only was a co-chair, but I also grounded the march in Kingian nonviolence, which is the ideology of Dr. King, um, allowing us to attack forces of evil, not people doing evil. So when we were organizing, a lot of people wanted to march against Trump, but we realized that as a woman of color, marches, or Trump is really not our problem. It, he, you know, We've been operating under the systems of oppression that actually created Trump, but how could we march for something? And so myself and a woman, Linda Sarsour, um, co-conspired with about 30 other women, gender non-conforming and trans women to create the unity principles that created entry points for people to get involved and to march for something like immigration reform, climate justice, um, gender justice and things like that. So those are just kind of a few things that I've contributed in regards to like women's rights. Um, and so always trying to make sure that like young girls could also see themselves in positions of leadership is important to me as well. Okay. All right, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. We can't wait to see you speak today. Yeah, thank you. All right, thank you. For DCTV News, I'm Ayanna Williams.